So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video on Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about one of the top architectural college in India. Yes, it's SPA Bhopal, School of Planning and Architecture Bhopal. So we are going to discuss about all the facts, all the information of SPA Bhopal in this video. Just a small request viewers. Please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because you'll really enjoy. All right, let's start this video. Now, in the coming 10 minutes, what are the things that you will cover? Let me brief you. So, we'll start with the discussion about SPA Bhopal highlights. We'll discuss about SPA Bhopal highlights in the first place. Then we will move on to the courses which SPA Bhopal offers along with eligibility criteria and the selection process. Then we will move on to the reservation policy of Indian and NIS in SPA Bhopal. Then we will move on to the admission process in SPA Bhopal. Then what are the cutoffs in SPA Bhopal? What is the application process in SPA Bhopal? We are going to cover that aspect too. Is there any scholarship opportunities or not? We are going to cover that aspect too. And we will also cover one major aspect here that what is the student genuine feedback in here in this particular college. All right. And still you have any doubts, any questions you can ask in the comment section below. Let's start this video. So let's start with the discussion about the highlights of SPA Bhopal. So SPA Bhopal, that is School of Planning and Architecture Bhopal, is of course located in the city Bhopal of the state Madhya Pradesh. It's an public college. It's a public college approved by AICTE and the campus size is 75 acres. So 75 acres in the city of Lakes. Yes, it's a perfect campus. If you happens to visit that campus, you'll really enjoy. The exam accepted in here are IIT G means this is for the bachelors. Okay, we are going to discuss about the post graduation and PhDs in the coming slides. So of course, so the basic admission criteria is entrance based, so there will be cut off. We are going to cover that aspect too. The application mode is online and offline. Yes, there are scholarship opportunities. You can visit the site www.spabhopal.ac.in for more updates about this college. All right, let's move on. Now let's discuss about the courses which SPA Bhopal offers along with eligibility criteria and the selection process. So let's start with the bachelors first. So in the bachelor's or undergraduation courses, it offers two courses, B-Arc and B-Plan. Now B-Arc is for five years, B-Plan is for four years. The basic eligibility criteria is very simple. That says that you need to pass your class 12, that is 10 plus 2, with a minimum of 75% marks with PCM. And of course, the selection criteria is GE mains. You have to pass on, you have to score a very good score in GE mains exam. If I talk about the seats which this college offers in B arc, this is 75. This is the updated seats and the B plan, this is 30. Okay. Now let's move on and discuss about the post graduation. Okay. In the PG, the major courses are M arc, MDES and M plan. In M arc, there are specializations. Yes. In urban designing, landscape and conservation. In MDES, the specialization are visual communication and project, project design urban and regional planning. If I talk about M plan, then this is environmental planning, transportation planning and logistic management. And of course, the duration is of two years. The basic eligibility criteria for M arc is 55% marks in B arc or B plan from the recognized university with relevant one year of experience. Yes, this is relevant one year of experience. If I talk about M des, then this is simply the minimum eligibility is bachelor degree from recognized university. If I talk about M plan, then this is 55% marks in B arc or B plan from the recognized university with relevant one year of experience. Okay. Now the selection process is based on the entrance exam. If I talk about M arc, then it says that 60% seats of the postgraduate programs shall be filled through CCMT. Okay. This is entrance and 40% directly through the admission test conducted by this institute. So CCMT is a body and through this body, 60% of the seats are reserved and through the entrance, there is 40% of the seats. If I talk about MDES, then this is admission test. You need to qualify through admission test. If I talk about M plan, then again, this is 60% of the seats reserved through the governing body, which is CCMT and 40% seats through admission test. All right. Now let's move on and discuss about the PhD. So for the PhD, the duration is three years and the basic eligibility criteria is that you need to score 60% marks in your masters in planning or architecture or technology design or a minimum of 55% marks in B arc, B plan with at least five years of relevant experience. 
Now, this is 55% for the reserved category. And of course, based on entrance exam followed by an interview conducted by the university. So, this is the selection criteria in here. All right. Just a brief about courses, eligibility criteria and selection process. So, in here we have just learned this thing that in this particular college for the bachelors, you have to qualify GE mains. If you talk about post-graduation, then there is CCMT governing body which decides there are 60% of the seats that are reserved and again there are few metrics there are few parameters on which it judges there are basically five parameters like what is your score what is your graduation detail what is your um, academic records right so everything will be taken care of while you know taking admission in this college and if i talk about phd then this is clearly based on entrance exam followed by interview by the university now let's move on and discuss about the courses which it offers now this is for the nris i'm talking about so for the NRIs, about NRI admission eligibility in this college, they have to give GE means paper 2. Yes, they also have to give GE means and have to score at least 60% marks, 65% marks on 10 plus 2 to get seat in here. Now, of course, there are another way to get into this college, which is through DASANCIWG. Yes, NRI admission is possible in this college through DASANCIWG C quota. So you can visit the site to have more updates about this part in here. Also, in the NRI admission quota, there are approximately 15% or essentially 15 seats for NRI and PIO reserved for the students. Students have to score at least 65% marks in your class 12 to get seat in this college. So, two ways to get into this college. The one way is through uh, IIT G, right? And the other way is through DESA and CIWGC quota, okay? So, by this way, NRIs can enter into this college. Now, before I move on and announce another part, this is very important part in this video. For the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI books that is related to DASA and CIWGC quota. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have compiled set of NRI books that will help the NRI students to prepare well. Okay, for the D-Day. This is for the NRI students. Let's move on and discuss about the reservation. So talking briefly about the reservation as this is a government college. So it follows government rules and regulation, Indian government rules and regulation. So the reservation policy is such that for the ST, this is 7.5% of the total seats reserved. If I talk about SC, then this is 15% of the total seats reserved. If I talk about OBC, this is 27% of the total seats reserved. If I talk about EWS, then this is 10% of the total seats reserved. In short, if I just sum up, this adds up to 59.50% of the seats are reserved in the reserved category, which implies 31.5% of the seats are for general category students. So this is a reservation about the Indian students. Now reservation about NRIs. So approximately 15% of the seats are reserved for NRI as DESA and CIWGC uh, rule says. In this college, they reserved seats for NRI under DASA and CIWG quota. Student will get a good score in G means they can also get a seat in here. So two options that I just told, one way through DASA and CIWG and another gateway is through this G means. So in that you have to score really well because you're competing with the top and top minds in India, okay? Discussing about the seats, so in BR, this is 15 seats. You can visit the college site and have more updates about this reservation thing, okay? Now, let's move on and discuss about the other aspects. What is the admission process? So, candidates who are applying for BR or B plan courses will be allotted seats based on GE mean score. Yes, this is on paper too. So, your score matters in here. And for the non-architect who have not the architect background, have to appear in CED. Of course, CED is actually a body which is directly and indirectly talking about J mains. So you have to score really well in J mains. All right. And selection, if I talk about in PG courses, this will be based on qualifying degree. What is your graduation degree and subsequent rounds of testing conducted by SPA. So there are actually five parameters on which it tests uh, any candidate in post-graduation admission. Uh, these are marks, these are your academic records, these are your work rates, how you perform in GD and PI. So, this all club and this is a deciding factor in here. If I talk about PhD, then candidate have to score minimum of 55% marks in their masters. And if they have UGC net uh, scorecard or any other scorecard which is accepted by this university or colleges will be an edge in here. Of course, this university or college take their own entrance, okay? Entrance as in like this is a process, you will be have to pass on through personal interview, through group discussion, maybe you are supposed to present your research work. So there are many things in here. Okay, if I talk about SPA, right? This is about this thing, as you can see the seed exam. 
okay so number of candidates who appeared for this exam this keeps on decreasing as you can see the data this is 2020 which is says that 5564 is the total number of students who has given the exam okay and this is the total number of students who has given the exam and the number of students who qualified this exam because in short these are the students who are called for the for the process so these are 1724 if you just take the ratio this is 2000 let's say approximately and let's take it as simply 6000 right so one third of the students are qualified and similar fashion followed in 2019 but these days the trend is decreasing because this is architecture which is a very niche domain right the cutoffs are very high because students think that the cutoff is very high and why not i go to other colleges other general colleges right like simply b tech this is br so this is a niche course not much colleges in india offers this course so that's why the trend is decreasing these days let's move on and discuss about the cutoff so let's have a look at the cutoff so the cut for the cutoff in the bachelor's courses if i talk about Bachelor of Planning, which is a four-year course in the category OBC NCL, the opening rank was 1555 and the closing was 1877. This is for the round one. Okay. If I talk about uh, for the general students in EWS category, this is 712, the opening rank and 758, the closing rank. If I talk about for the open students, this is 2441, the opening rank and 4246, the closing rank. Right. As you can see the chart right here. And if I talk about for the five year courses, which is uh, with BR essentially, in OBC NCL, this is 639, which was the opening rank, and 1420, which was the closing rank. So, likewise, this is given in here. You can visit the site. As, this is given www.spabhopal.ac.in slash home.aspx for more updates about this cutoff thing because there are various courses, and for each course, there are different cutoffs. Okay. Now let's move on and discuss briefly about the admission and sorry application process what is the application process so typically like normal colleges this also have application process you need to visit the official site and then choose the program fill the form uh, just fill the required data upload your photographs necessary documents and finally submit okay now let me just give you a brief about what are the documents required so candidates mark sheet of 10 plus 2 right because you are qualifying then you can just submit your or upload your admit card in this cat point of time candidates gate grf and seed score in short your scorecard candidates original date of birth as well as caste certificate so your date of birth proof and your caste proof right if you are belonging to any caste and of course if you have any extra curricular certificates then this will be given an age because in the post graduation in the masters in the phds right they take these parameters right these are the five parameters on which they decide so this will be a good option if you have any extracurricular certificates then you can upload also there okay now let's discuss about the scholarship options in this particular college yes spa bhopal offers scholarship to uh, almost all the category students because this is a government college so the scholarship is awarded to sc and st category this is not mentioned in here but this is also for the obc this is also for the ews and this is also for the general students in some cases in that case you have to score high essentially you have to be in top 10 of that college right of your batch essentially and of course this is located in the state of madhya pradesh so the state government also offers some scholarship fellowship to this uh, students in this college okay and also you are open to nsp national scholarship portal you can also apply in through there and there are much options once you get into this national colleges you are open to many scholarship opportunities right the fees are not too high you can even reverse your entire fees let me just tell you about the students feedback so there are typically three students as we have taken let's talk about in the six parameters let's talk about in faculty so out of 10 one student rated six one student rated six and other rated 10 so this is subjective right if i talk about in placement this is 5 8 and 10 if i talk about in social life this is 4 6 and 10 again this is 8 8 and 10 in courses in hostel this is 1 10 10 and in campus life this is 5 5 and 10 so this is subjective that depends from student to student if you just take average this is a good college a good college where you are you know supposed to invest your four years or five years or two years depending upon the course which you opt in okay but again you do some research work from your end what is the demand of these courses in the market what is a placement scenario right and what is your goal that is the most important thing okay so this is all about spa Bhopal. if you have any doubts any questions you can ask in the comment section below feel free to reach out to us thank you